Hi, today I want to talk to you about editing the mobile view or version of your Wix website. Wix includes a mobile view for free and they even give you options to tweak it a little bit so that it looks great to anyone visiting from a smartphone or device. From your Wix editor, you'll see this icon here. All you have to do is click it and make sure that this toggle button is on, make your site mobile friendly. And then click edit mobile view and you'll be in the mobile editor. So this editor looks similar to the one that you used when you did your main website, your desktop version. It has three buttons on the left, but this time they're a little different. You have background, you have mobile, which I'll explain more, and then you have hidden elements. So you can actually choose to hide or show certain elements on the mobile view. Sometimes you don't need something to clutter up your mobile view and then you can just hide that. Any changes that you make on your mobile view do not affect your desktop. So that's a good thing to keep in mind as you work away here. You're just focusing on mobile viewers and giving them the greatest experience with your website when they're on their device. On the right, you'll see the toolbar that we used before. And as you work with elements, the different buttons will become live and then you can use those. So I recommend that you just go through each page, have a look at the spacing, where things are, make sure nothing's sitting on top of something else. It sometimes happens that when you modify a template, things just get thrown off a little bit. So they've done their best for you, but there's going to be some tweaking involved. So to begin with, I just want to show you an example here. So where I have my tagline, it kind of is sitting off to the left and I want that to be centered. So I'm going to need to just close up this box a little bit so that it doesn't affect um, my spacing. So I'm going to click it to select and now my align button is live. I'm going to click align to center and then that looks much better. Your text can also be enlarged or decreased simply by tapping on scale down or scale up. And that way you get a bit more of a customized look. Right, the font size here, again, I can increase or decrease. I can modify the color. So say if on my mobile view, I wanted that to be black, I could do that as well. And it applies automatically. Now in the top right, you're going to see the mobile menu. Click on that, click navigate, and here's all the pages that will be displayed in your mobile menu. If you don't want a page to show there, simply click the gear beside it and then click to hide it from the mobile menu. If you click on settings, you can choose to freeze the menu. And I like doing that because as you'll see here, when you freeze your menu, it's always visible. It makes it easy for visitors to navigate to other pages even when they scroll down the page. The design can be changed and so forth. So have a look at that. Keep on scrolling down. Check out the different spacing. Make sure, th sure things look good. Maybe you want the map to be a little smaller so you can just use these little white buttons here and make it a little smaller so that the uh, contact form shows. You'll see arrows pop up so you can move something down or up and even hide a section if you want to. So you're going to go down through each page and just double check that the spacing is right, change anything you want. Uh, before I move on to the next page, I'll show you here that uh, the background can also be adjusted. You have the same three options as before, so color, image, or video. Let me just show you with the color. I could change it to just that a lighter tan color if I wanted my mobile view just to have a slightly different look. You can really customize here, which is really nice. And you see that background color was applied throughout. On the mobile view, or mobile button I should say, You've got uh, three options here. So let's just click on each one. Mobile view. It's going to give your visitors the best user experience on smaller screens rather than just condensing your desktop view. So it's, it's slightly different when you do that. And it's a great idea to take advantage of that feature since it's free anyways. The toggle bar needs to be on for that to happen. Back to the top button. That's actually a cool idea. If you put it on, then let me just show you what happens when you preview the mobile view. As I scroll, you'll see an arrow pop up. So if a person was to click on that, they would automatically scroll back up to the top of the page. 
So you're making it convenient and easy for people to navigate your site from their devices, and that's really important. The mobile action bar is something you can choose to have added when somebody accesses your site from a mobile device. It'll have certain elements that you choose on the action bar, and people can contact you directly with the click of a button. You won't see the action bar when you're in preview mode, but you can set it to be on by using this toggle button. Select what's on the bar, and then that'll be in place. And then hidden elements shows you what Wix has removed from the mobile view of your site. So these pictures were on my desktop view, but they're not on my mobile view. They're trying to keep things simple and clean when it's on the mobile view because the space is limited. Again, it's up to you. You can choose to add something back in. So if I wanted this image to show, all I'd have to do is click show element here. You'll see the elements that are hidden for each page and then you can make your choice accordingly. So I think I've given you all the basics. The last thing that you need to keep in mind is that you can preview the mobile view to see how things are functioning and also be sure to save any changes that you make. When you're done, you can go back to the desktop view very easily by clicking on the icon, clicking edit desktop view, and then you're back to the desktop version of your website. I hope you've enjoyed this video on editing your mobile view. Get your site looking great so that no matter what device someone visits you from, they'll have a great experience. Thanks for watching.